frogs, turtles, salamanders, and snakes. They might look alike, but do you know which ones are reptiles and which are amphibians? It's trickier than it sounds. Let's jump in and find out. Amphibians love water. They have soft, moist skin that helps them breathe. And most amphibians start life as tadpoles swimming in water. Amphibians lay their eggs in water in clumps that look like jelly. Amphibians also go through metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is a big word which is simply when some animals change their bodies like turning from a tadpole into a frog. So that means frogs, toads, salamanders and newts are all amphibians. Now let's talk reptiles. Reptiles have dry, scaly skin that helps keep moisture inside. That means they can live in dry places like deserts or forests. Their eggs have tough shells that look like leather and they hatch looking like mini adults. Reptiles do not go through metamorphosis like amphibians do. No tadpoles, just baby reptiles that grow into adults. So that means snakes, lizards, turtles, and crocodiles are all reptiles. But why do people get reptiles and amphibians confused? Well, they both live in some of the same places, like ponds or wetlands. And they're both cold-blooded, which means they need the sun to warm up. But once you know what to look for, it's easy to tell them apart. Let's line them up and see the differences. Amphibians have moist and soft skins while reptiles have dry and scaly skins. Amphibians lay their eggs in water in jelly-like clumps, while reptiles lay their eggs on land and their eggs are hard and look like leather. Amphibians breathe using their skin and lungs, while reptiles use only their lungs to breathe. Amphibians change their bodies from a tadpole to an adult, while reptiles hatch as mini-adults. So, remember, not all wet and slimy creatures are amphibians, and not all scaly ones are reptiles. Next time you're outside, look closely. Is that animal hopping with soft skin? Or crawling with dry, scaly armor? Is it laying eggs in the water or burying them on land? Ask yourself, amphibian or reptile? Now that you know the difference, go explore! Can you spot a reptile or amphibian? And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing animal facts!